With Canada Day coming up, I wanted to get into something Canadian. Originally, I was going to do a top five Canadian music acts, but I had too tough a time narrowing it down, so I decided on ten. That just goes to show how good Canadian music can be. Even with ten, I had a tough time, and these are just my subjective choices, very much within my realm of taste. So if your favorites aren't here, there's a chance I just couldn't fit them in with what I wanted to talk about. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10, Arkells. The Arkells are a group of alternative rockers from Hamilton, Ontario. They formed in the 2000s, but came to prominence in the 2010s. I first heard them through EA Sports NHL 13, which had their song Whistleblower, and in my first semester in university, they held a free concert on campus. This concert was one of the first I ever attended, and while it was before they had a lot of their hits, they were still great to see live. My favorite song of theirs is one that came out a little later, Leather Jacket, which is just a fun pop rock song. Number 9, Sam Roberts. This guy has been a staple of Canadian indie music since the early 2000s. He came from Montreal, Quebec, and would be a constant at Canada's Juno Awards with 14 nominations or victories spanning from 2003 to 2017. A memory I have of his music is his music video for Them Kids playing in movie theaters before movies would start. However, my favorite song of his is probably his first hit, Brother Down. Number 8. The Guess Who. This Winnipeg-based classic rock band from the 60s and 70s is the first on my list to really make some international success. Led by Burton Cummings and Randy Bachman, they released many pop rock and psychedelic rock tunes over the years. While I'll always associate it with Michael Sarah singing in Superbad, the song These Eyes I think is really beautiful even if it gives me a bit of a chuckle when I listen to it. Number seven, City in Color and Alexis on Fire. Cheating a little bit on this one by taking both of Dallas Green's formats for releasing music, Alexis on Fire is a hardcore screamo band that gave me my first exposure to his work. My favorite song of theirs is Rough Hands, which I think showcases Green's vocal talent. With City and Color, Green takes a much softer approach with acoustic tunes. I have a tougher time picking a favorite of City and Colors, but I remember CBC's 2009 NHL playoff montage having the song Sleeping Sickness, and while those playoffs had a disappointing end for me, the montage was great. The song also features a verse sung by Gord Downey, and spoilers, he will appear later on this list too. Number six, Joni Mitchell. One of the greatest folk singers of all time. Listening to her voice and lyrics feel very dreamlike, and her innocence in her voice and worldview seems to bring me back to a simpler time. Despite coming from humble beginnings, doing small nightclubs and busking in Saskatchewan, she would make a huge impact on the music world. Working with bands such as Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young and The Band, and even inspiring Led Zeppelin's Robert Plant to write the song, Going to California. Of course, songs like Big Yellow Taxi and Woodstock I will always find great, but my favorite for her, I have to go with Circle Game. Number 5, Brian Adams. Canada's rock star, Brian Adams, comes from Kingston, Ontario, and he became an international success with a string of constant successful hits. I always knew he had a lot of great songs, but it didn't really hit me just how many there were until seeing him live and noticing how song after song was another hit. I have a special place for the Three Musketeers song All for Love that he did with Sting and Rod Stewart, but for a song of his own, I'd go with Cuts Like a Knife. Number four, The Tragically Hip. Well, here's Gordon Downey again. This man and the band behind him 
instead of going for crossover success, decided to find, create, and establish a Canadian music sound by inserting very Canadian-centric lyrics into their music. In a lot of his music, he seems pained yet joyful, which makes him very endearing. Some of their biggest hits, like Ahead by a Century and Poets, are great, but my favorite is actually a little smaller with the song that tells the story of hockey player Bill Barilko, 50 Mission Cap. Number three, Neil Young. Now we get to where these top three could be interchangeable. Neil Young is another one from Winnipeg, Manitoba. He got his start playing guitar and occasionally singing in Stephen Stills' band Buffalo Springfield, before making his own mark solo and with Crazy Horse, his own band. He would later rejoin Stills in the supergroup Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, but continue his solo career as well. He has absolutely inspired me musically, as well as countless others, sometimes being considered the godfather of grunge music. I have too tough of a time choosing between Harvest Moon and Old Man for my favorite of his, so I simply won't. Number two, Rush. The Holy Triumvirate. Rush are Canada's and one of the world's greatest prog rock bands of all time. Packing a drummer widely considered as the greatest of all time, Neil Peart, one of, if not the greatest bassist of all time, Geddy Lee, also providing vocals and keys, and the often too overlooked Alex Lifeson on guitar. They are some of the most technically gifted musicians ever. They often had long, extensive, complex arrangements that they would consistently nail throughout their careers. I think my favorite song of theirs is 2112, but it is not easy to pick, and I could say entire albums like Fly By Night or A Farewell to Kings are my favorites too. Number one, the band. Though many would think they are an American band, with Levon Helm's Southern Twang and Americana lyrics, Aside from him, the rest of the band are Canadian, and they formed and got their start in Toronto. Early on, they were the backing band for Ronnie Hawkins and Bob Dylan, but they would go out on their own, making it big in the late 60s. While Helm sang lead on their biggest hits, I personally tend to prefer the vocals of pianist Richard Manuel. I particularly like his vocals in the songs Rockin' Chair and my favorite, King Harvest. Now, obviously, there are a lot more that I missed, so here are some rapid-fire honorable mentions. April Wine, Loverboy, Chaos, Alanis Morissette, Billy Talent, The Weeknd, Celine Dion, Arcade Fire, Shania Twain, Drake, and let's just forget about Justin Bieber, and Nickelback. I would love to hear what Canadian artists others like, or even just what you're doing for Canada Day COVID-19 edition.